Hello everyone, welcome back to JP Budget Collecting and our weekly look back at the CBSI Hot Top 10 from six months ago. This week we're looking back at the Hot Top 10 from January 25th, 2019 and I'm recording this on July 25th, 2019. Fair warning before we get into this, uh, I've been traveling for work all week, working really long days, so... If I'm a little incoherent and misspeak a few times, uh, I apologize up front. Um, but hopefully I'll still get this out on time for you guys um, now that I'm back. Um, also, because I've been gone, my guess is the cat will make multiple appearances because she's been looking for attention because I was gone. So hopefully she won't knock the camera over. So with that, uh, those caveats, let's get into this week's list. Um, first up at number 10 is Reborn number one. And this is a book that spiked because there was Netflix movie news that also had attached Sandra Bullock to it. And kind of after the Bird Box, or I think that was the name of that movie, was so successful, there was a lot of people thinking, oh, this will be a success. Um, that movie obviously hasn't come yet. Um, I'm not sure if it's still coming, probably, but... Either way, uh, then it's up to a $15 to $20 book, um, but now it is back down to, well, it's still, it's basically back down to a $5 book. Um, listings are still $10 to $20 range, but it's really not going for that. It's basically a couple bucks plus shipping, five plus shipping, something like that is really the realistic range for this book right now. Uh, 9.8s uh, are going for 40 to $80 and kind of scattered in that range. Um, and number nine on the list, we have maybe a first since I've been doing... It's not a first Golden Age book since I've been doing this, but um, one of the first kind of classic Golden Age books to make the list. And this is Phantom Lady number 17. Um, everybody knows this cover is a famous good girl art, Matt Baker, um, just, you know, it's a gorgeous cover, it's high demand, so it hit the list because a 3.0 went for a record of $3,800, and then Im almost immediately went for a record of $6,000, um, for 3.0. The only real sale since then, um, there's been a few others, but the only, uh, no, the only real sale since then that's not like Heritage or something where I can't see it, but the prices have jumped across all the grades, uh, even from this, was in March that I could see that was on eBay, a 1.5 went for 4500 So in January, that 3.0 went for 3800 that's why it hit the list uh, in March. A 1.5 went for 4,500, and we also had a 3.0 go for 6,000 on eBay, and then a bunch of stuff. There's been several sales on Heritage. Again, I don't have a Heritage account, so I can't look those up for you guys. But this is a book that just continues to climb and climb and climb and climb. Um, super hot this year. Uh, good girl art from the Golden Age. Matt Baker. Yeah, it just keeps going. Um, number eight on the list, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, volume six, number one, the premiere variant. Um, and this was, this is Donny Cates, this is Guardians of the Galaxy, this was limited to two per store, so this was one of the hot covers for that book, um, that had 80 bajillion covers, because it's a Marvel number one, but, um, right out of the gate, this book jumped to 45 to $50, um, for this premiere variant. Um. Only one is now it's come back some. It still was going even into May and June for $35, $40. Um, and, but there's only been one sale in July. Um, and the previous sale of that was June 6th. Only one sale in July was 24 plus shipping. The June 6th sale was for 45 Was but So there hasn't been a bunch of sales, even though there's several listed. Um, only one 9.8 sale for this book I could find, which was uh, for $86 in May. Um, trying to read my own. Yeah, the book just really isn't sailing. Um, listings are all $50 to $60 for raw copies. Uh, 9.8 or 200 plus. Um, there's only been one sale. It was in May for 86, but they're listing that for 200 plus. Um, just not a whole lot. There are a couple of auctions going. That was a note I couldn't read a minute ago. Now I see it. I can read it. Um, there's one current auction at like $20 starting bid for a raw copy. It doesn't have any bids on it. 
um, or didn't as of recording this. And there was a 9.8 uh, that was listed for auction. There was a 95. It also didn't have any bids yet. Um, the book just doesn't seem to be, have continued to have a lot of demand, um, but people are still asking those prices from when it was hot, and it doesn't appear to be that anymore. Um, so that was Guardians of the Galaxy number one, the premiere variant. Um, at number seven on the list, we have Blossom 666, number one, uh, part of these archy uh, horror universe kind of things. And this is the hack variant. Um, just kind of a cool, creepy cover with a skull on it. Um, right out of the gate, it jumped to a $15 to $20 book. Um, now, it can be basically had for cover plus shipping. Um, the only slab sale I could find for this was a 9.6. And it only went for $11.50 plus shipping. So, out to the guy who got that thing slabbed and then tried to sell it um, at an auction. <laughs> Because it did not do very well. Um, he lost a lot on that one. But uh, this Blossom 666, I really haven't heard it. I know there was a lot of buzz around the series when it first started. I know some of these Archie stuff have been pretty popular. But this does not appear to have been one of them that's kept any momentum at all. So, um, number six on the list is a book that has hit the list for before. Although it's been... Oh, a month or so ago. And that is Die, Kitty, Die, The Heaven and Hell. Or Die, Kitty, Die, Heaven and Hell. Number three, the parent variant. And this is the Be Bewitched Homage. Um, and basically, this peaked again. They peaked about a month or so ago. When it came out, uh, it hit the list. Well, with number four coming out, it hit the list again. Um, then it was going for 40 to $50 for this book. Um uh, Basically, hard to tell what it's going for now. Um, everything, all the sales, and there's probably been seven or eight. Uh, I can't remember. I didn't write it down, but there were seven or eight sales re in the last couple months of this cover, and they've all been best offers accepted on asking prices of $35 to $50. So this book is clearly not still going for the $40 to $50 range, but because they've all been all these asking prices, I didn't find exactly what it's going for uh, listings are still asking 40 plus um there's only been one 9.8 sale that i could find uh on go collect and it was for 125 my guess is this book is probably in that 20 to 30 dollar range now instead of the 40 to 50 dollar range which is still pretty good for a book but just not near what it was when it first hit the list um with that we're going to move into number five, um, and that is Uncanny X-Men, uh, volume five, number 10, the Fence variant. Uh, CBSI commented back when I hit the list of, well, it's kind of a cool cover, but not even maybe the best cover for that particular book. Def I mean, it's not even really that great of Wolverine cover. I mean, it's nice, but uh, they weren't sure why it was... And it's not really limited, so they weren't sure why it was spiking so hard, but it was. It was going for $30 plus. Uh, I think it's a really nice Finch cover. I'm not sure what was driving it, though, to $30 plus when it wasn't really limited. But um, now it's still kind of going in that 30, 15 to $30 range for the most part, around $20. Um, occasionally a little more, uh, occasionally even more than 30, but, uh, people will pay for it, but really in that 15 to $30 range, there's only been two 9.8 sales and apparently people were sleeping because they went for 35 and 56 on auctions when people are paying 25, $20 for a raw copy. Um, uh, current listings for raw copies are more in the 25 to $40 range, so, you're going to have to work a little bit, get a, the deal where you should, what for what you should pay. Uh, 9.8s are listed at 80 plus. Those are all buy it now. Um, those auctions obviously didn't go, the, again, didn't go the way the sellers were hoping. But this book has cooled quite a bit from how hot it was when it first came out. At number four on the list, uh, we have Alita Battle Angel, number one. Um, and this was basically just before the movie came out, the hype or right around that Alita Battle Angel movie, which I have not seen. I kind of want to see it. I've heard good things about it, but I have yet to see it. Um, then uh, raw copies of this, the original 
number one in English were going for a hundred plus dollars. Uh, the mini series as a whole was going for three hundred dollars plus for the set. Um, now, only a couple of recent sales. Um, they were all in that forty dollar range, um, so it's come back considerably from when the move right before the movie came out. Uh, only two uh, slab sales I could find recently on Go Collect. One was a 9.0 in July that went for 200. Um, one was a 9.4 that went for 160. Most everything else has been quite a ways away, so it doesn't really, there were some sales around when the movie came out. I don't know that they're really relevant at this point. Um, so, but that gives you a little bit of a reference for where prices are at. That 9.0 to 9.4 is in the 150 to $200 range for those kind of books. Um, and number three on our list is Immortal Hulk number 12, which was really hot out of the gate. It was supposed to be the first uh, one below all. Um, I've not read Immortal Hulk, so I'm in the minority among the community and not having not read Immortal Hulk. I need to pick up the trades and read it. Just haven't got there yet. Um, it was not one I was collecting. I've never been a big Hulk guy, so, but uh, this was right in maybe the peak of the Immortal Hulk hype uh, is when 12 was coming out um, and the books were just flying off the shelf. Back then at release, this book was $15 immediately because um, everybody knew it was supposed to be the first appearance of the One Below All, which was what it, the whole story was kind of leading up to. Um, now it's still going for 10 to $25 for this book. Um, and the listings are right in that range. Uh, 9.8s, though, are only doing 45 to 70, which I kind of find a little odd for a 10 to, for a 15, $20 book. I say 10 to 25, but really it's mostly 15 to 20. Um, the listings for those are, are for 9.8s start at 6. You can still get listings started at 60, but they go through 60 to 90, um, plus shipping is really where the 9.8s are at. So paying a little bit of a premium for a raw copy it feels like compared to like the 9.8 but not dramatically so maybe it's fairly close to where it should be but um still doing well immortal hulk as a whole is still doing well um this one's not doing that much more than some of the early issues uh in terms of pricing for it as a raw copy uh, despite being that first appearance but that is immortal hulk number 12 it was number three on our list um and number two on our list is Shazam number one. And this is, again, right before the movie came out. Uh, this is right around the time one of the trailers dropped. Um, and everybody was kind of hyped that the trailer was so good. Um, this is obviously not the first appearance of Captain Marvel uh, or Shazam, uh, as they're calling him now. Um, that's a Golden Age book that's, yeah, way out of reach for most collectors. So this... First, after the Golden Age, which technically didn't come till the Bronze Age, um, is the way they listed. First step, first appearance after the Golden Age um, it was the book that everybody went toward because it was the book that was attainable. Um, for it, 9.8 hit an all-time high of $1,300 for it back in January. And here she comes. I knew she was going to make an appearance. Come here. Um, so she actually waited longer than I thought. We were already all the way to number two on the list. So, um, so Shazam, where was I at? Okay, so hit an all-time high of $1,300. Now, um, 9.8, the last three in July. It's been steadily kind of coming back. Um, if you go back to June, it was in the seven to $800 range. In July, there's only been three 9.8 sales. Um, they went for 600, 650, 670, not in that particular order. They just, those are the three prices. Um, currently, there are two listed for 750, although there are several listed for way over $1,000. Um, raw copies could be had pretty much in all different uh, grades and conditions for between 20 and $65. Um, I did, have not seen a recent sale of a raw copy for more than $65. And it was a pretty nice looking raw copy. I didn't like dig into it too hard, but um, so you can get pretty nice raw copies for 50, 60 bucks and more middle of the road ones for 20 to $30. Um, so with the movie come, having come and gone, uh, this book has just kind of dropped back 
typical hype related to some of these movies that peak around the trailer or the actual release of the movie and then as the movie move as we move away from it come back down um number one on the list uh was the 100 page walmart giant superman number seven and this was the controversial book uh where tom king and boy does he like to stir things up apparently uh had a crazy story where superman was forced to witness all his fears or something and basically it resulted in a book where lois died a whole bunch of times at least in superman's mind and um people were upset that they put this in a walmart book that kids had easier access to and were just upset by the nature of the story in general um why would they do that to a character like lois and even though it wasn't actually real but you to the reader it was real and so anyway, um, back then this book was going for $15, um, and basically now it's still going five to $15. Um, so not quite, I mean, you can get it for significant, like I said, for five bucks, but most of them are going in that 10 to $15 range. Um, it was interesting, a re the only recent, really recent sale of a slab was a 96 that went for $15.50. So another ouch on somebody trying to turn a slab and putting it up for auction. Um, there's only been three 9.8 sale, or one 9.8 sale on Go Collect, and they went for 86. Uh, there's been three 9.6s, so maybe this book was a little tough to get in a 9.8 compared to a 9.6. And it was that most recent one was at 1550, but also 37 and 60 is what uh, 9.6s of this book have gone for. Um, so again, this is another one, kind of the hype around and controversy around this story kind of died down. So really hasn't maintained. Uh, so that's this week's list. Uh, again, most of the books have come back. Uh, Immortal Hulk number 12 is holding strong. Suzanne, which is a really good book, has come back a little bit just because you've moved away from the movie. This is pretty typical. It's something to remember also for all the hype around those books that uh, related to the Marvel news this week. Um, announcements, trailers, release, all tend to cause these books to spike. But as you move away from all of these things and get into the lulls in between them, these books tend to come back. Um, so that's really what's going on with Shazam. It's not that it's a bad book. It's just a book that people aren't focused on at the moment it's because instead they're focused on uh, first appearance of Shang-Chi or the, all those Jane Foster Thor books or whatever from the Marvel announcements this week or Blade. Um, so they've moved on to other books and Shazam has kind of fallen by the wayside. Um, several of these others just aren't books that um, have really maintained anything. That Garden of the Galaxy premiere variant was hot, but it's starting to slip back. Uncanny X-Men, Var Finch Varian has also started to slip back a little bit. Blossom has slipped back. 666 has slipped back a bunch. Um, the other book on this list that's truly a all-time key is that Phantom Lady 17. It ain't going to slip back. So <laughs> um, that's this week's list. Uh, I want to thank you guys. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much being as tired as I am. Um, and hopefully I'll still get this out on time. Uh, if not, I apologize, in or I apologize now. But... Um, I will definitely get it out here in the next couple of days. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.